This is the ancient city of Perge in Turkey. Today I am on a mission to visit another ancient city here in Turkey that is not far from Antalya. And this one is actually more ancient because it's, it's over 3,000 years old. It dates back to Bamphylia. Ancient Bamphylia. And then uh, it flourished uh, under the Roman uh, rule. So it was founded in the, the 12th century BC. And that makes it uh, over 3,000 years old. And it's not far from the the airport. So you're gonna hear a lot of uh, plane planes noise. So excuse the the noise because of the uh, proximity to the airport, Antalya Airport. And I am walking now toward the stadium, the Roman stadium. This uh, is like a U-shape built in the uh, second century AD. And Perge, the city is called Perge by the way, is also a religious, has a re religious uh, history because uh, Apostle Paul visited this city on his first missionary journey in the first century AD and that is why it has a very important religious uh, history and I'm gonna try to walk toward the stadium and see if I can uh, walk through the uh, the steps right there this is unlike the uh, the amphitheater that I visited in uh, a city called Shide Shide and also the theater in um, where I forgot uh, Aspendos you can check out those two videos those ancient cities are also beautiful but for some reason this ancient city is not that crowded compared to Sede and uh, Aspendos look at it now I am almost in the middle of nowhere in uh, in this uh, historic uh, city and it's not uh, let's find out if I can uh, walk up the uh, the stairs it's not that far by the way from uh, from Antalya I took the uh, tram from the old town of Antalya and then I uh, walked for about uh, 15 uh, minutes not that bad mm. all right there seemed to be a way to go up the uh, stairs right here and let's uh, do it before people see me and then uh, they follow me trying to copy me but I don't think I don't think there is a way to go to the uh, to the seats on the other side or maybe there is I don't know I'll find out all right it's gonna be a way to go up here we go hopefully this is the one here we go I found it and I really like this site because I don't see a lot of uh, people. I only see a few over there. I was actually expecting that this place will be a little bit crowded because it's not that far from, uh, from Antalya. And also there is a public transportation to take you, to take you here. So I, uh, I wonder why nobody comes here and also this site is more religious uh, site 
given that uh, Apostle um, Paul visited this city on his first missionary uh, journey, as I mentioned before. And the city is huge, by the way. The theater over there is closed, I think for a restoration project or something like that. It's gonna be closed for quite a while. But I got tired of uh, seeing many uh, hist uh, ancient theaters because I've seen enough of them. After a while, they all look the same with just slight variation. And later I'm gonna walk into that, uh, the heart of the town right there. There is a beautiful gate and also the Agora uh, right there. The Agora in uh, it means um, the market uh, place. Almost in every single ancient site, there is a marketplace. Like uh, the one I saw in uh, in Sede and Ephesus and Aspendos. So let's go then to the Agora. You see that is the theater just across the street from the uh, from the stadium it's not that far from uh, from here but unfortunately it's closed I think it's closed permanently if I'm not mistaken but if you could sneak in there's gotta be a way to at least get a photo from uh, from at least from outside but I don't want to do that because once I exit this area I have to pay a ticket again to to enter the uh, ancient site so I'm just gonna find my way to the Agora and see what we can come across all right this is the main entrance of the ancient city and that is the Agora but I decided to walk this way first because there is a big uh, tour group right there that I want to avoid. It's a little bit crowded. Now I know the secret why it's, it was not crowded earlier because most of the tour groups, when they do this uh, kind of uh, tour, they go first to Sede and Aspendos early in the morning and then they come here later afternoon and that's why the tour started to uh, uh, the tour groups I should say started to show up because it's already uh, close to 2 o'clock p.m. and I am trying to rush a little bit before they show up because once they show up this place will be packed so I'm trying to tour it while it's still uh, peaceful and uh, quiet and this Agora the main marketplace uh, dates back to the uh, second century AD it was built during the uh, the Roman Empire during the peak of the uh, Roman Empire and also I heard that one of those uh, watchtowers actually dates way before um, way before the Roman uh, period to the uh, dates to the uh, Bamphylia era I think and then the Roman Empire expanded this uh, city and uh, there's a bunch of uh, columns right uh, right there so uh, the the entrance is about 11 euros and here in Turkey they have two tier pricing system one for the uh, tourists non-turkish residents and the other one is for the uh, the local residents so if you are local if you can provide uh, some kind of proof that you are a resident 
in Turkey, then you pay around 60 lira. And what is this place now? There is no description right here, but I'm quite sure it's an important place right here. This is maybe the heart of the Agora, I think. See, back in the day, this place was full of shops and and all that kind of stuff. So the 60 lira for uh, local residents and then 11 euros. But 11 euros actually it's cheaper than the uh, the other ancient sites. Uh, Sedei, I think it was 17 euros and uh, Espindos almost like 16 euros. So for some reason this is actually a uh, cheaper. But I kind of like this actually this city because they have more uh, ruins you look at all these gates I'm quite sure they are the original they're not they're not a replica and as you can hear the noise there is a big uh, restoration project to to maintain the the place is it a UNESCO World Heritage Site I don't know I'm gonna have to fact check that after I film after I film it but I'm quite sure it is let's go now there and find out if the tour groups are still there or they left I hope they left I really want to walk through that area without the construction noise but forgive me it's not my fault you can hear a lot of uh, noise wow this is amazing This is called the Hadrian's Arch, right there. The Hadrian Arch situated to the north of oval-shaped Hellenistic Towers. Wow, this is a Hellenistic Towers. Okay, Hellenistic style, that makes me believe that it's even way before the Roman period, right there. And what else they have right there so it's gonna take about uh, probably two hours to uh, to walk through this because it's actually bigger than Shide and Aspendos amazing they have a uh, some description right there in case people want to read at least they have uh, information in English which is very nice see now this area is uh, to myself the the tour groups went that way but sometimes to be quite honest with you I like the uh, sometimes I follow the uh, tour group because it gives me a clue where I am supposed to go if I see a crowd goes that way, that tells me that, that there is something to see that way. But it doesn't mean that I have to follow them. I just wait and uh, monitor them, see what they're doing. And then I wait for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes because they are always in rushed, because they are timed. They are under pressure to leave because they have other sites to visit. But in my case, I have plenty of time. I'm not, I'm not in rush. Like today, I, I only have this site to visit. I have nothing else to do other than just going to the hotel and, and edit this video and upload it to YouTube. So I, uh, I have plenty of time to just wait for the tour group to see what they're doing. And sometimes if they speak English, I can hear them from distance to get a basic facts but most of the time the facts that I get from uh, wiki Wikipedia page and uh, chat GPT are way more than what they provide and they are they are accurate most of the time 99.9% .9 wiki Wikipedia is uh, correct 
and that's what I suggest you do if you like to do what I am doing if you want to explore it on your own explore historic site on your own this is what I usually do in the morning I go to Wikipedia I just type in uh, Perge Wikipedia the name of the city and then Wikipedia on Google and then it takes me to Wikipedia page and then I just read and then I go to chat GPT my app on my iPhone and then I type basic important facts about Perge and then it gives you chat GPT within seconds it gives you all the important facts the dates who built it uh, what was the former name and all that kind of stuff you read it so that when I visit the place it's not like I am I go and I have no idea what I am coming across at least I have the basic facts and I am not interested in going so deep into history because more than likely the information will evaporate within few days one month all the information that I gathered will I will forget I just want to maintain the basic uh, important facts and that's all and look at this gate now the gentleman is taking a photo all right I'm gonna walk through I don't want to you don't want to what I don't want to ruin the photo opportunity for you okay. so I will just wait for you, you can just pass no if I if I walk uh -huh. I'm gonna ruin it for you because I I don't look good it won't be so I'm, so I'm gonna make Actually, your photo look so bad <laughs> So Actually, we can uh, take it together. You can just come and join me. Okay, no, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Thank you, man. No, you won't join, huh? No, I'm fine. Okay. I'm man. fine. Okay. Yeah. Have a nice day. You too. All right. See that I don't want to ruin the photo for him because this is a very nice. Uh, photo opportunity but I'm gonna be quick I'm gonna walk quick and leave the place for him and uh, but regardless it's way less crowded than uh, than Ephesus the ancient city that I visited in another region of uh, Turkey Wow I can say that this is actually better than Sede it really is because this city also I forgot to mention that they have one of the most sophisticated water system in uh, in the world I should say one of the most sophisticated ancient water system systems in the world the uh, Roman engineers back back in the day design it in a way that it can supply water throughout the whole region wow it's amazing it really is and they also have an aqueduct in uh, Aspendos uh, the, uh, that I covered uh, yesterday when I went to Aspendos actually Two, um, two days ago because the plan as I mentioned in my previous videos I hired a, a private taxi the plan was to cover Sede, Spendos and Perge same day but I could not I failed to to do three sites on the same day so I postponed Perge to another day and yesterday I spent the day editing those two videos I did not do anything other than editing the videos that I filmed in Sede and Aspendos it took me the whole day to edit those videos and then today I decided to visit Perge and tomorrow I am flying back to Istanbul I'm gonna stay in Istanbul for a couple nights to catch my international flight to to the United States 
I had to fly to Istanbul first. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The, uh, the water and the fountain system. But what I learned that I have to be very, very careful when I, when I walk through these ancient uh, sites because you can you can fall if you don't watch out your steps let's go there that tunnel looks nice to me let's check out what they have right there wow is this a tomb or what Alright, back to the main entrance to the city, to the ancient city. The group left, but there is another group that is coming pretty soon. And uh, that arch is under construction. And it was built in honor of uh, the Roman Emperor Hadrian in 130 AD when he visited Perge. All right, this is the monumental gate. I think this is the main square of the ancient city and excuse the uh, construction noise I know it will bother you because it's already bothering me and I already have a headache because of that it's uh, and this also is uh, the Roman bath right here it's really amazing amazing sight to go through and the uh, the tour groups already left and now the whole place is to myself is very quiet other than the uh, construction noise imagine if there is no construction this place will be very very peaceful and also the the plane the planes noise as I mentioned before because of the uh, airport very close from where I am Let's walk uh, this way and see what else I come across. There is quite an interesting hike to go to the summit to get a nice uh, view and uh, let me show you the view that I see while I'm going up right there you see I was there and I'm quite sure if I keep going there will be a nice uh, photo opportunity I guess as you can see 
it appears to be this place nobody is here I guess only me which I pretty much like Wow what is this where does it go let's go this way There we go. This is the break rest area, I guess. Wow. Look at that. This will be a nice uh, opportunity for uh, picnic time. You grab your lunch and you come here and you enjoy the, the view. And let's see what they have. If I keep uh, going, I see some ruins up there. It's only one wall. One ancient wall. Right there. Actually, there are some small ancient homes up there Wow I am a little bit nervous here because I am in the middle of nowhere by myself I hope there are no aggressive animals here but I, I can see there is an abandoned ancient home right there I am a little bit scared to scared to to go inside and take a look what is this wow it's an ancient hidden gem oh yeah yeah I'm not quite sure if this dates back to the Roman era or even before the Roman period. This place required a big hike to get to get here, but it's really worth it. And I am by myself here. 